All right, let's move on to 2A. South Adams, the Starfires. Oh, keeping right themselves. Mergers, keeping the beard alive, Oh, coach. my gosh, keeping themselves in the picture as far as 2A playoffs go. They're at number three, Eastbrook. But, man, you got to give it up to South Adams. They beat Woodland, and then Busco comes in ranked 13th. They beat Busco last week, 29-27. Uh, to 27. What is South Adams doing well, and what has allowed them to get to this point, and what could allow them to compete with a really good Eastbrook team on Friday night? Uh, confidence. They're feeling really, really great. From, from that first half of that Woodland game where they hung around and gained more confidence, eventually winning that game, to then beating uh, Cherubusco last week in a, a more grinded-out type game. South Adams is playing with house money right now. I don't think a lot of people expected them to be where they're at. Only had one win last year, win a sectional championship this year, hit the road against, like you mentioned, a traditional power in central Indiana and Eastbrook. It's going to be a tremendous challenge, but they knocked off Woodland. Yeah, I think you take a look at that sectional, and you had Busco, you had Eastside, you had Woodland. Few then, people, <laughs> few people would have – I mean, even after the upset win – against Woodland. I mean, Busco obviously had knocked off Eastside. It's just been a fantastic run thus far for South Adams. Yeah, it's been a tremendous job by the Starfires. It's pretty cool to see. And, and it, we seem to always have one of those stories every postseason where a team comes out of nowhere. This has been South Adams' year this year. And it's going to be a tremendous challenge. But Eastbrook, they, they do what a lot of teams in the ACAC do. They love to run the football. They'll go over the top occasionally. But they're bread and butter are off tackle plays, counter plays, running up the middle. They just want to grind out yards, and South Adams has seen that, maybe not to the level of what Eastbrook is able to do, but uh, I think they got a tremendous shot on Friday night. And one thing that we've really seen is South Adams in the playoffs with the passing game. I mean, Teeter to Worcester, they've had three touchdowns in the air. That's like a full season yeah. for South Adams. That's just in the last two weeks. That's like a full season for South Adams in the past. The passing game is working. How much do they have to be able to throw the football when you take a look at they're going up against an Eastbrook team that beat Elwood last week 37-0? I mean, they posted yeah. a shutout on a playoff team in a sectional championship game. And now I think a key maybe Friday night is to air it out early and really uh, extend that Eastbrook defense, test it, test the back end, and, and see what you can do and maybe keep them off balance a little bit. Maybe you play action on the first play of the game to see what you can drum up. Um, but I think that offense is going to have to put up a fair amount of points. I think South Adams' defense needs to come to play, but very tough to keep Eastbrook off the scoreboard. 